Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Well, listen, this is James Bowman III again with our marital and family encouragement. Yes, and this is season one. Uh, We'll call it episode 12. And tonight we want to talk about, let me adjust this here. Tonight, we want to talk about, I'll entitle it, The Hulk. Now, some of you may not know who The Hulk is, uh, but it was one of my favorite TV shows when I was younger. So those who who don't know what it is, let let me just share with you real quick uh, what the premise of the show was. Uh, There was an individual, a doctor, excuse me, called Bruce Banner. And in in one of his experiments, uh, Bruce was hit with an enormous amount of gamma radiation. And it altered his cells such that whenever he got angry, he turned into this really large uh, green individual. (laughs) And the best part of the show is he would say, you know, uh, don't make me angry. Uh, You you, you wouldn't like me when I'm angry, right? So so how, how does that pertain to uh, what what we want to talk about today. Well, in, in some other posts, I shared with you uh, that we had some challenges uh, when I was growing up and and, you know, inner city flunking out of college, kind of defaulted on my school loans. OK, but then then God began to uh, uh, heal my life. I started to grow up and mature. And and what that began to create in me, ladies and gentlemen. Was what I will call an indomitable spirit. I began to believe that I was invincible. I was the Hulk. And, and, you know, I started to believe that I had it all under control. And, and, you know, basically what I was telling God, listen, I said, listen, God, thank you. Appreciate you for uh, getting me out of the inner city. Uh, You know, got my GED, got my degrees. I got it from here, God. And ladies and gentlemen, that is a dangerous position to be in. Because we all understand that I nor you. Neither one of us work ourselves up this morning. Oh, but God, Jehovah left some angels by our bedside so that when it was time for me to awake, I awoke out of my slumber ready for the next day. And what this boils down to, ladies and gentlemen, I had some pride going on. And one of the reasons, you know, we call this marital and family encouragement. One of the reasons uh, God gives us uh, partners and spouses is so that that spouse can check you. See, this is why you have to be careful when you get rid of whoever God gave you, because God gave you that person to get you to heaven. Uh, And and so that uh, when when uh, I'm in error or I'm, you know, going off the reservation, so to speak, uh, my wife will say, hey, you know, um, you're acting kind of prideful. Now, you know, it's okay to have pride in your work. That's good. Uh, But we have to remember, uh, we we can't believe, I, I began to believe that I was responsible for my successes. And ladies and gentlemen, this sounds very much like Lucifer. You know, he, he started to say, well, listen, I, I can sing. I can. I'm over a lot of the angels. Uh, we have to be careful, ladies and gentlemen, that pride thing, pride with a big P. OK to have pride in your work with a little P. Uh, and so we have to be careful. Uh, because, you know, we talk a lot about our weaknesses, but we have to be careful that Satan doesn't get us on our strengths. We must always keep God first. And I'm going to share something with you. <clears throat> Excuse me. I was out cutting the grass earlier today. So <laughs> there's bunches of pollen uh, where I live. But but let me let me just share this with you. Something I believe to my core. You know, I can't prove it. But, you know, in our walk with God, you, you begin to discern things. You know, a while ago, years ago. I was climbing the corporate ladder. You know, I'm, I'm going to get my education and, and that's OK. And I'm going to climb the corporate ladder. It's OK. Some people, you don't have to get an education. You could want to be uh, the head welder or the head plumber. It doesn't matter. Uh, you know, working hard is a good thing. But 
But ladies and gentlemen, I wasn't concentrating on Christ. I was too much into climbing the corporate ladder. And God was on the back burner. Just, just hold off over there, God. I'm, I'm working my agenda. And I'm going to tell you what. As I said, I can't believe this. When I get to heaven, I'm going to ask my Lord and Savior. But I got diabetes, ladies and gentlemen. And guess what? That slowed me down. Mm-hmm. Because, see, it's okay to have pride and work, but we must always put God first. And God had to let me know that, listen, James, I appreciate what you're doing. You're taking care of your family. That's good. But nothing happens without me. That's what God was telling me. And now when I wake up, ladies and gentlemen, I have to depend on God daily. Sometimes when I wake up, I don't feel well. God says, I know I got you. <laughs> I got you. I will provide strength for the day. Not you, me. And as long as you are in my will, James, in my flow, I will take care of you. And when God blesses us, we must give him the glory and then testify of his goodness. Because, ladies and gentlemen, the accolades of men and women, uh, they can be addictive. Right. And they can have you believing that you are the gift giver as opposed to the recipient of the gift. There's only one gift giver, ladies and gentlemen, and that is Jehovah. And so 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 success is good. But success can be addictive. And, and let me just share with you uh, this last uh, uh, point. It's it's a testimony I have. And, I, and I'm really embarrassed by this because, you know. I know better. I have a really good friend at work. <clears throat> and my friend and I had a significant disagreement. It wasn't personal. It, it was, it was, we disagreed on how to do something. Okay. And ladies and gentlemen, I did not present myself in a Christ-like manner to my friend. God did not get the glory. And as I thought about it, you know, I, I had to go, I had to uh, communicate with my friend. I think I, uh, I said I was just wrong. And listen, ladies and gentlemen, perseverance is, perseverance is fine. Climbing the ladder is fine. Success is fine. It's all good. But listen, I want to share this with you. God-given perseverance turns into stubbornness in the hands of Satan. We must temper that word, temper, our passion with discretion. It's okay to disagree. But we must be Christ-like. Because our strength can concurrently be our weakness. And we've got to stay prayed up. And so I had to tell my friend, you know, that's my bad. You know, it just is. I have no business talking to a child of God like that. And I had to, I had to ask forgiveness for that. Right. So so ladies and gentlemen, uh, you know, this talk was a little longer than usual. We've got to stay prayed up, we've got to stay prayed up and we've got to know God is in control, not us. All right. Listen, until next time, stay prayed up, be strong, work at your craft, but understand that Jehovah is in control. All right. God see you. God bless you. And we will see you next time. Bye bye. Got some people praying for me. Praying for